hello and welcome to incubate today we are going to show you how to apply different pricing on a product so let's begin as you can see this is a sample product so let's see how you can apply different type of pricing to this product so here you can see sizes so let's edit this size set you can see we have set up a pricing on the size which is XL $20 dollars, double XL $30 dollars, and triple XL $40 dollars. so let's go to the designer view I have kept the basic price to two dollars for the for us to be easy to understand how the pricing will change so let's see if we go to add to cart and one here so you can see twenty dollars has been added over the base price if we add it here you can see thirty dollars has been added on the base price and products in total, total store so this is how you can put pricing according to the size so let's go to the printing types and uh, edit pricing there so we have this color printing type selected for this product so let's go to edit printing type and play with the price a little bit so if we click on edit printing price and you can see uh, first it's the basic pricing so all the values are zero here so let's say uh, we put a setup fee of five dollars save it and now if you uh, let's just refresh this, this page first so now if you add any text or graphic for example let's just add a graphic you can see the five dollars has been added to the unit price it was two dollars let's just change the color uh, it was two dollars uh, in the beginning and five dollars has been added so this is how you can change pricing now let's see the uh, other pricings which you can customize in the printing types so let's just click on edit now let's see the other pricings so um, so you can see setup cost for each color uh, in this section if you click on yes and save so now let's just refresh the design lab page and let's just add a graphic in one color so you see the seven dollars uh, let's just change the color for better visibility so it's seven dollars two dollars plus five dollars and let's just add another graphic so see as it is in a different color five dollars more has been added uh, but if you take it back to the same color then the price is reduced so this way can change the pricing according to the setup cost so let's uh, venture more into the printing types so now uh, let's put these values to zero for better understanding uh, so if we keep a five dollar setup cost here and no setup cost for quantity more than so let's say uh, more than five if we uh, or if we uh, so what will happen now if your customers orders uh, products uh, which has a quantity of more than five then uh, the setup cost won't be added so let's just save it and go to the design lab page refresh it now uh, let's say we add a graphic and now it's order more than five so so if we have two you can see the price changes but if we have six then the setup cost is not added it's 12 dollars whereas if we have five uh less than five we, we have the setup cost added so this is how you add a setup cost and also put a limit uh where your, your uh, customers won't be charged for a setup cost exceeding a certain uh, number of units if you want 
Now let's put these values to zero again. And let's go for the initial price for text. So this is the setup cost for text only. Let's give five dollars here. Save it. Now refresh the page. And now let's just add a text. So as you can see, it's two dollars. And if you add a text, it becomes seven dollars. Because we have added five dollars, the setup cost of the text. But if we add graphic, for example, here you can see the price has not increased. Whereas if I add text, the price increases. So this is how you set up cost for text. Let's go to the printing type again. And let's put this value to zero so initial price for, for graphics is the same thing where you were charging say, setup cost for uh, text here if you put a value you will be uh, your customers will be charged a setup cost for graphics and this one is for text and graphics both so what will it do what will this do if you put a value here so if your customers add a text or add a graphic they will be charged the amount you put here but if but if they upload a file name or numbers or anything other then they won't be charged this full color photo print price is so for example it's five dollars here save it this is this is when uh, you upload a file say this one so if we suppose select this picture image and we continue you can see the price has changed to five more dollars so this is how you apply pricing for uploaded picture if it is a full color image now let's go to the printing type and see what's next now this is price per character for text so Let's put five here. See what happens. Now, if you refresh your design lab page, now if we add a text, you can see the unit price is forty-two dollars because we have charged five dollars per character. So now, if you want, you uh, let's say there are two characters, the text. So five dollars per character. That's five 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 plus five equals to ten dollars, and two dollars is the base price. So that means twelve dollars. So this is how you can uh, apply pricing per character of text. So now let's see for the price for name and price per number. So these uh, pricing take effect on uh, this uh, this portion name or numbers. So let's see. So let's put five dollars to both of these prices. Let's add five. Five. Let's just put zero on the previous one. Save it. Let's go back to the page again to compare. So now uh, let's refresh the design page. Now. For example, let's add name and number both. So, now you can see the price has been added five dollars for the name, five dollars for the number, and two dollars for the base price. So this is how you can also put pricing to the name and number here according to your preference. So let's go back to the printing page. Now this is price per square inch. This is the pricing if you want to add a pricing uh, per square inch of your, uh, your printing tab. It can be anything. It can be text or graphic or uploaded file or name or numbers. 
uh, the area of the print per square inch uh, you can charge them accordingly per according per square inch uh, if you wish to so this let's just put these values to zero uh, okay and so this is the basic pricing section of the printing type then there are printing colors so you can see there are uh, various printing colors here so let's say uh, we add a pricing of uh, five dollars to the orange color and ten dollars to the green color save it so now if we refresh the page okay so now <clears throat> let's say we add a graphic the price has changed so let's change the color to orange you can see the five dollars has been added and let's change it to green you can see the ten dollars has been added so this is how you can also put pricing according to print colors the price per color option so here you can uh, price your customers according to the price per color so let's say maximum colors per print locations will allow four colors so from product quantity one to five let's say one color price is zero uh, which means yeah, uh, you uh, you uh, you won't charge any extra price for one color. For two colors, you charge extra five dollars. For three colors, extra ten dollars. And for four colors, it's fifty dollars. Save. So let's click on save. And now, if we refresh the design lab page. now uh, so it, the price is two dollars uh, if we add a graphic let's add four graphics and see so the first graphic the price remains same doesn't matter which color you select let's add another graphic so now you can see the price has changed to seven dollars because we have added two colors let's add another one You can see the price has changed again for three for three colors as you can see for three colors we would increase ten dollars so ten dollars plus two dollars the base pro, the, the base price is reflecting here and let's add another one You can see fifteen dollars has been charged accordingly, and the base price base price two dollars is still there. So this is how you can apply a price per color quantity. And if you have a product with multiple sites, different printing site, so you just click on yes and do the same thing for the other sites also. So let's just reset this and go to the price per size range section so here you need to add a new size range so let's say from one to five products uh, price per size range let's say five and two fifteen inches for the print type size so for light colors uh, you add a value of five dollars dark colors five dollars let's say and save it now let's go back to the design lab page and reload it now let's add a graphic so as you can see it this uh, size let's the so this size increases the set size so 
five dollars has been added on the base price now let's just set this and same thing goes for the other sides if you have a product which has multiple sides you just click on yes and do the same pricing or your preferred pricing for the other sides okay so these are the various ways you can add pricing depending on the printing type so now let's see how you can how you can customize your pricing according to the color set the color set of the product which means the color of the actual product not the printing type so let's go to the edit color set now let's say uh, for some colors you want to add extra pricing so for example for orange you add five dollars and for gold you add ten dollars so let's just save it go to the product page and refresh it now if we change the color to any other color which we didn't set pricing the pricing stays same but if we change the color to the to the ones that we have set our pricing so let's say for gold see the price changes uh, we have set uh, a price of twelve dollars so let's see ten dollars actually we have uh, set a price for ten dollars for the gold color and it shows on the base price so this is how you can also add pricing to colors now let's just reset this and now last but not least you can also add pricing to different sides now you can also set pricing accord, uh, on your product sides according to your preference so you can see here there is an extra price written so let's say five dollars here and refresh the design lab page now uh, if we uh, the price see the price has changed because we have added pricing to the sides if you don't want to we can remove the pricing from the sides and you won't be charged extra on the base price so this is how you can add pricing in various ways using the Incubate product designer have a nice day